In this video, I'm going to give you one of my favorite route combinations from the Trips Tied In in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players they could possibly become. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, I'm going to be breaking down some of my Trips Tight End offense. If you want to get my entire Trips Tight End offensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video for just uh, 10 bucks. It'll get you the entire uh, offensive guide. But in today's video, we're going to specifically be sharing with you one of my favorite little route combinations. It's going to get pretty much everything the opponent can do. Um, and you really want to run it ideally with the ball on the right hash mark, but you can run this either way. Um, you can actually run it with short side trips, but it's the play PA counter go out of the trips tight end. And the setup is actually rather simple. So I'm just going to kind of set up like a, a generic little Mabel coverage here. Um, and then and then we'll go over the setup. So so basically what we're going to do is we are going to put the tight end on a delay fade just like this. We're going to double team the right side guy over there. We're going to put the slot on the left side on a little flat. We're going to put the square receiver on a dig, little five-yard in route, little underneath check down. And then we're just going to take the running back and block him just like this right here. And at the snap of the ball, this is basically a designed rollout play. It's a play that's designed to roll out. So we're just going to roll out of the pocket here. Um, and what you're going to see is we can release this. We can release this delay fade if it'll go out. I don't know why it's not going out. Um, Brady kind of Brady kind of sold me right there. Uh, but let me show you this one more time. So again, um, this is a, a very very simple setup. And again, this is primarily designed to be a rollout throw. So Brady's going to struggle a little bit with this throw. Um, but you know, again, this, this is the idea. So again, you're just rolling out here to get out of the pocket. And then once you get out of the pocket, you can basically either hit the tight end route or you can actually hit that dig route. Now you can do one of two things with the dig route. You can leave it at five yards, um, or you could actually smart route it. I actually like to smart route it occasionally too. Uh, let me show you this. This dig route is super underrated. So again, we're just going to uh, block the running back. And what you'll see here is you can throw this dig right in that little pocket right there as well. Typically what's going to happen is the user is going to run to the crosser. Um, it's just kind of almost at this point in the season, it's kind of known that the, 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 the user is typically going to run uh, to the crosser. So we're going to be able to basically just work this backside dig route. Now the other thing is on the crossing route, um, if we pass lead this up, you see that he's going to get in a kind of a weird little position um, against this. Let me grab Chris Godwin because Chris Godwin does have the slot matic ability. We'll talk about man coverage here in just a moment, but this play is really good against man and against zone uh, for, for plenty of several or for several different reasons. But anyways, let me just grab uh, Chris Godwin here and then we'll just come out and the play PA counter go. And we'll just go to kind of a general defense, just like this. So a little Mabel coverage with the QB spy. And basically, again, we're just trying to, again, we're going to block the running back. Now, you can also put this running back on a ghost route. And if you put the running back on a ghost route, we'll talk about that in just a moment. Um, for those of you that have a hot route master. But basically, the idea is you roll out, and then you can basically just throw this up on the sideline just like that. Now, it's a little bit of a tight throw with Brady. If you have Rodgers or you have someone that has a gunslinger, you'll be a little bit more equipped to make this throw. But the other thing I want to talk about just briefly is the idea of putting this um, – this running back on a ghost route. So ghost routes are one of the most underutilized and most effective routes in the entire game. But basically what's going to happen is it's going to hold that flat to the inside. Um, and it's going to leave this massive uh, opening for us to be able to throw this. So let me show you this one more time. So again, this is specifically a 25, 5, and 5 maple. But I just want you to watch this running back on this ghost. So you'll see that the flat will basically just sit in the middle of the field and we can throw this ball on the sideline just like that right there. That's really the big uh, opportunity that you have with the running back if you want to do something like that. Now, let's talk about if they're like blitzing you heavily. Uh, let's say they're, you know, let's just say they're gonna send a lot of pressure. The cool part about this is this has got really, really good pass protection. This is one of the reasons I really like this setup and I like to block the running back most of the time. So you're still going to be able to get out of the pocket, but even better than that, you've got this nice little dig route that you can work, this dig and this flat combination uh, on this backside of the field. 
Uh, one thing that they might do from time to time is they might put a yellow zone out there to take away the dig route. And I just want to show you kind of what that's going to mean for your offense. So if you see something like that, then what you can do is basically pass lead up this flat and you can basically rack catch it upfield for about 10 to 15 yards. So it's a, a really nice little, um, little element of this. But basically, this is simply a, uh, a levels concept. Now, uh, really quickly, I want to go over uh, just cover four drop. Uh, just real one, just wanted to kind of briefly hit on this. But the, the cool part about this play, as far as it pertains to cover four drop, is when you roll out of the pocket, you can kind of hit this route on the sideline uh, against cover four drop. It's not as um, it's not as hard of a throw as it's been. And again, Brady's kind of killing me because he just doesn't have the the pass lead ability that a gunslinger quarterback would have. But again, if we just kind of get out of the pocket here, you're going to see that we're going to be able to hit this on the sideline, even though the quarter is kind of in that general um, area. Another thing I want to show you just briefly here is I want to show you, um, you know, what this looks like when we have a ghost route out there against cover four. So if you watch this, ghost routes against cover four, he's going to hold him. The ghost routes do a really good job. Um, this is one little quick tip about ghost routes and also about hitch routes, really, is they do a really good job at holding things like cloud flats and cover fours and things like that. So whenever you can put a hitch on the field or a um, on the field with a, combined with a crossing route, you're going to have a lot of success. So let me show you this one more time. So again, we don't even have to roll out here, but you see how he gets into kind of a tight window against that cover four. So that's, a, that's an option for you. Um, real quick, I want to just touch on uh, Tampa 2 it's because I've actually been playing some people that have actually had a pretty good Tampa 2 scheme over the last couple of days in weekend league but basically if they do something like this right here I just want you to be prepared for this and kind of how to attack it so if they do something like that um, again we're gonna put our ghost route out there to the running back got our backside little combination the underneath combination is gonna be wide open but the other thing is you've got this nice crosser over the top of that cloud flat rather simple easy little read uh, for your for your offense. So as you can see right there, we're able to beat it uh, in a couple of different directions. Now, one last thing I want to touch on is man-to-man. -man. So um, if they run man-to-man, -man, as you saw right there, the corner does come over, so it's a little bit of a tell that they're man-to-man. -man. This isn't, you know, if they run a man-line defense, that's one thing, but if they run man-to-man, -man, you could sometimes just easily tell just like that. But basically, we've got our crosser against man-to-man. -man. We're gonna have our crosser right there, as you can see. He beats man to the inside. The other thing that we're going to have, especially in Mutt, um, this is why I really like the ability short in. If you put the ability short in on all of your receivers, um, you're going to find that you're going to get pretty consistent ability to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Um, but this square receiver right there to the inside typically will beat man coverage um, for an easy little five-yard gain. And then the last way that we like to beat man-to-man -man coverage, let's say, for example their user um, let's just say that he goes to this crossing route and just trying to stop that against man to man then the beauty of this is as we're setting up our play if we can roll out here to the right and get this guy to chase us we can throw this delayed fade we've been throwing that all season long as you can see so this is a really simple little route combination but it does really well against a lot of different coverages specifically mabel coverages the one thing i want to hit on just real briefly here at the end of the video is this idea that early in this play they're going to typically jump to that crossing route and what that's going to do is it's going to leave these two little light guys on the left side here pretty much wide open um so as you can see just rack catch up that little in route and you can go um another thing that i want to recommend is if it's first down and 10 um or less right then i would 100 percent recommend uh smart routing this route the reason why is just because of how the uh, curl flats will play. They'll kind of drift to the inside a little bit at the beginning of the play. But as you can see right there, we're able to have a nice clean pocket and able to throw that ball. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get my complete trips tight end offensive guide that shows you how to run one of the best offenses in Madden 21, then you can get that down in the description for just 10 bucks. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you guys in the next video.